All right, guys, it's time for the entertainment news. First off, Angela Okorie survives robbery attack. Nigerian actress Angela Okorie is thankful to God as she survived a robbery attack over the weekend. Now, the actress took to her Instagram page to share her testimony video and an x-ray scan of her head after being hospitalized following the attack. She stated, and I quote, undiluted grace will never stop to exist in my home. 10 bullets were removed from my head and two bullets close to my eyes. God alone deserves all the glory and honor. You are God all by yourself. I am child of grace. Thank you, Lord. Nothing in this world will ever make me ungrateful for all you've done in my life and family. And the assassins kept on shooting for 30 minutes. No help from anywhere. No human came for our came to our rescue for only God came for our rescue. Hashtag he pained them. Hashtag protect me Lord. Hmm. I saw <sighs> videos, um, I saw the live video and I was like, oh wow, like her face was really swollen yeah. in her eyes. Yeah. And then I saw the two, um, um, I think, is it the, the bullets? The yeah, two, the, the places close to her eyes. And I was like, wow, 10 on your head, two Near your around. See, okay. it is just God. I mean, if you if you could survive this, then Honestly. there's something God has in stock for you. Like, there's as in there's a plan for your life. There's a purpose for your life. Just okay, stick okay, with okay. But okay. The Quick part one. I didn't quite understand is it pained them. But I'm just like, look, yeah. this is a great testimony. Mm. Keep it moving like this. But that it pained them. I'm like, are you it expecting someone to? Is it the devil? Is it that the no? So, so, so when you see an attack like is, this. Ten bullets and two nail eyes. It's it's too it's so, too so personal. So, let, too, so yeah. let, let me clarify something. I yeah. guess she was just in shock and just wanted to put something up. Mm. Um, there's no way. What she meant to what, what I think she was trying to say is ten pellets. I was so about when they to say So that. when they shoot the gun, the pellets from the bullets just oh. come and hit you. They oh. probably um, shatters of the glasses. The glasses just sprinkle all around. Oh. Right. So there's no way. There's no way. It would have been 10 bullets. 10 bullets. Yeah, I don't know. 10 oh. bullets. No way. She wanted to say pellets. Mm. So yeah, just to clarify that out. Yeah. I, I'm happy that you said this because I was going to say 10, Ten bullets. bullets. Yeah, there's no way. Like one can kill somebody. Yeah, no so that makes more sense logically for 10 bullet pellets, pellets yes. to have hit her and everything. But regardless of the situation, for the fact that it wasn't the real bullets that hit her, yeah. for the fact that yeah. Yeah. she's alive for the fact that yes. she could even make a make video it, yeah. she wasn't in the hospital that blew me out of my mind i was she just like she went to the hospital, she went to the hospital but what i mean is that she's not like lying yeah, down that she can you know move. drips and everything she was still holding her phone taking a video and i was just like this as you said you, do, I, you i couldn't even say it better this is just god this is just yeah, grace no, and we're really happy that she's alive and she's well and she's recovering now you're asking why she would say um he pained them. them well things like not this me. i'm saying people were being people like, were oh, wondering why she said things like yeah. These are obviously it's an attack to you, like it's mm -hmm. a personal thing to you. And whoever it is will just be so disappointed that after yeah. shooting for 30 minutes straight, they couldn't get to you. So perhaps that's her own way of saying, God has my back. You know how Nigerians can be very this, and they're like, okay, now that this has happened and you know, you're, you're, you're safe, you should be on, on the low and not come out to want to try to attack them. You know, there was because I went through the comment section and I'm like, Yo, guys, first of all, it's her testimony. Yeah, true However, true if she true says true. he pained them, then there's something that, you oh, know, she knows that we don't know. Do you understand? And people are like, regardless of anything, I mean, you saying let he her, pained them. Let so her don't, give just stay on the low, because the they're to. obviously going to come for you still. Let's, let's they, they wanted to come for her. She was on the high. They did the worst. And so being on the low, I don't see what difference it could make. Mm, okay. Obviously, God is protecting her. And that's obviously. the only person that, that's the only being that can really protect. So we're really thankful for yeah, her life. Okay. According to the statement, I think everybody needs to be careful this season. Yes. Um, moving around late. She was coming. You know, she also sings. So mm. she was coming from a show where she went to perform. Whoa. And she was in a car when they attacked her on My the goodness. road. And it's just crazy. Let's just be safe out there. All right. Yeah, please. Okay. Yes, moving on to the next story. Duncan Mighty arrested and now released over fraud allegations. Oh. Yes, Nigerian singer Duncan Mighty is in the news following the arrest over the weekend and now released. According to reports, Duncan Mighty was arrested by men of the Imo State Police Command on allegation of fraud. The police public relations officer in Imo State, Orlando Ikeoku, said the singer was arrested following a petition ban up and coming artist M2. Talking about Duncan's mighty arrest, the PRO stated, and I quote, This followed a petition written by an upcoming rap artist, M2, who claimed that the Igbo state government, led by Owele Rochas Okorocha, through the office of the SA on Entertainment, entered into a deal with Duncan Mighty to manage, promote, arrange collaboration with other top artists and sign M2 on that Young Wealth record label owned by Duncan Mighty. As a result, an agreement was reached and a fee of 11 million was paid to him.
However, since collecting the payments, he refused to fulfill his own part of the deal. End quote. A few months ago, Duncan Mighty wrote an open letter to Rocha Sokorocha offering to pay back the money he got to record a song with one of Rocha's associates, although it's still uncertain if these events are linked. Yeah, so M2, Rocha Sokorocha. Mm -hmm. It's Duncan just a messy Mighty. situation. I remember Duncan Mighty arrested before, he was arrested. This is the second time they are, they are locking him up, mm. arresting him. So he, he was arrested first. Yeah. Then he now wrote that open letter that, yo, Rocha Sokorocha, I'm not doing this deal again. I want to pay back my money. I don't know what transpired afterwards, but over the weekend, they came to move him again. But it's now free though. But it's just a messy situation whereby you had a deal. Before, yeah. Mm. They're going to do it again. Yeah. So you had a deal. You'd not fulfill your own part of the deal. It's just a messy situation. Yeah. 11 million naira. 11 okay. million. That's I, a lot the, of The money. way that I see this, mm. I feel like for them to have paid him 11 million naira and he didn't do anything, there's something to it. Of like, course, there's there a reason to, yeah. why he's decided not to do it. And for him to say, okay, come and collect your money. I'm not longer a part of this deal. Maybe a part of the agreement they had was not you know fulfilled maybe okay I, I paid you this 11 million there's this place there's this thing you're supposed to do after making payment but they didn't do, it. didn't do it so people are just like oh he has collected the 11 million i mean you, there's always two sides to the story and they the wanted the to sign so, he wanted they wanted him to sign up sign uh, m2, uh, m2 right? under his own record label mm -hmm. so the way i see it um of, as you said there's something more to it the reason why he mm -hmm. didn't fulfill his part of the bargain but it might not be so far-fetched it might just be a case of you collected money and then to fulfill your own end of the game is now hard. This is a problem that a lot, yeah, of, Nigerian a lot of Nigerian business yeah, people have. Ooh. It's a thing that they have where they feel like, oh, you should understand that, you know, I had other things to take care of. I had other loans, I had other bills. So it's, it's not a good attitude. And it's one thing that we keep reiterating that when you sign a deal, be careful to read what the deal is about. Be careful to understand. Like 11 million naira looks like a lot of money, <laughs> but you have not looked at all the hidden clauses in between. You have not looked at all the things that you really need to do until it now starts, and perhaps you, you know, it can it, it can be a situation of the eleven million naira is not even worth what they're yeah, asking yeah, you to do. Yeah. So so many exactly. things could have happened in between that part, that's and that's said, why we keep saying read, read the deal, your read your contracts. I mean, so if they're going legally against him now, he can't really fight that. Hmm. You they should just sort this deal out because it's messy. I saw the video when they were arresting him. I was saying I'm a public figure. They said public figure for what? Enter this guy. Follow us. Follow us. So, so it's messy. That is First time they funny. arrested you, you plan to return the money. Second wow. time they're arresting you again, just sort this out. And it's, it's just I a messy situation. Rather than call out Richard Sokorita and say, come and collect your money. You have his account details or send something. It send him. it to him. Or you have Thank someone you. on list. Send it to the person. So, or give it to the police and say, okay, now that he has arrested me, you are supposed to be the Tell him person. Him oh yeah, take. take. This is his money. Go, Go and, and give it, it to him. I'm not doing and it. we know that it's all over. You know, this is embarrassing. I mean, yeah. we, we yeah. really respect Duncan Mighty. So yeah. I mean, and I know Duncan Mighty has so many other businesses. This so is, I don't yeah. think that's eleven million naira is a problem for him. So this is well, that's why I said it's embarrassing. We'll just keep our fingers crossed and see yeah. how that story, um, you know. Unfolds. Oh, unfolds, exactly. All right, moving on to some more news. G Worldwide plans to cancel Kiss Daniel's concert. Mm. Now, it looks like the drama between Nigerian singer Kiss Daniel and his former record label, G Worldwide, is far from over as label has threatened to cancel his planned December concert. Now, over the weekend, Nigerian lawyer Olisa Abagkobo, uh, that's the son, informed members of the press that Kiss Daniel will not perform at his December 26, 2019 concert, stating that the artist's brand still belongs to his former label. Olisa, who was speaking as a legal representative of G Worldwide, stated that though Kiss Daniel now releases music under his own label, which is Flyboy Inc., he still has pending matters at the High Court to determine the state of his contract with his former label. According to Olisa, he says that his clients wants to make an example of Kiss Daniel to artists who want to breach the terms of their record contract. While addressing the press, the senior advocate said, and I'm quoting, the press conference is to call attention to the fact that artists or labels that they think, uh, that, that think that they can do whatever they like, it will have to stop. And Kiss Daniel represents the living example of how the rules of the industry are not being followed. We have to stop it. We're not going to apply for an injunction to stop the show because he's tied to us and the matter is in court. And if it is in court, the court has to decide side so we're going to ask the court to stop the show next year we're going to take strongest possible measures against kiss daniel until he comes back and <laughs> repents and pays us what he owes us <laughs> these guys are out for kiss daniel and your boo <laughs> and the thing is that i, any inside I what any <laughs> any inside gist that <laughs> what, is wrong, 
about what is this? wrong with you guys? This okay. is news we're talking about. Okay. Okay, <laughs> you might have side tea. Though. I don't have any side tea. But on a more serious note, I do feel Kiss Daniel is in the wrong on this one. <laughs> and he's reaping, yeah, he's reaping the consequences of his actions. Now, we know he has been in Flyboy Inc. And we know he has changed his name to yeah. Kiss Daniel. <laughs> oh, we understand please. that. But you can't really run away. You can't, there's some things you can't really dust under the carpet. They have a point. They're saying you want to go perform some of the songs that are under G Worldwide, which is valid to them. And we haven't even sorted out this court issue. So what I would actually say is that he needs to finalize this thing and stop running away from it. Do you know how many Nigerian artists, they, how many Nigerian artists have done this same thing and they are just living their life free like nothing happened? Exactly. The problem right now is because it's Olisa Agakogba that is mm. involved, S-A-N. Mm -hmm. That's why that man, he will finish you. S-A-N. It will finish you. That's why this matter, that's why they are stretching this matter. And it's so crazy that Kiss Daniel is planning his concert soon. It's so, so sad. That's, so that's the best way to just get him and let everybody working with Kiss Daniel know that this guy still has pending case. Do not associate with him. Mm, that's the I, whole I idea. That's what, that's, what they, that's, that's what they've been pushing, that hmm. he still has pending case. You can't sign this boy. You shouldn't associate with him because it's still, the brand you are working with is a controversial brand. It's still has pending issue with his former record label. Mm -hmm. So whatever song is coming on your show to perform are still songs under that particular really, record label. Can they really pull that? Yes, there's still song under G Worldwide. Mm. So you still have those that he pending. He can perform his songs that are not under G Worldwide. Oh, so you don't want to see Kiss Daniel perform Wojo? Mm. That's true. That's a very valid point. But that is the reason why I'm saying artists in general, you have to be careful. You are saying a lot of artists have done it and have gotten away with it. Does not that's make why, it, that's, that's why I said, make it that's, right. That's why I said it's they want to make a scapegoat from Kizdanel. But uh, he, he, somebody is the scapegoat for doing something wrong does not make the person right. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you did something wrong, pay your time. We still love your music. You're still very talented. You're still very creative. Sort it out, finish it. Get, let, let the chapter be closed and come out with a bang again. And go and yes. apologize because that's what they're looking for right now. Runtown did it um, with his issue with Dilly Motos, uh, Dilly. And he has gone, there was a picture and a video clip of um, See, Runtown and Dilly hugging. Like, go and beg later. <laughs> you can't fight these people so because you owe them and they still own you. So um, I feel like this, this has gone past the whole apologize thing because even if they're saying, okay, we want him to apologize, would Kizdana be willing to apologize? There's something that Yoruba people say, say Tabati Delejo and Shorem. Like, whatever, whatever issue we have, for the fact that we've gotten to the court premises, yeah. as in we've, 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 gone at some, yeah. we've gone out to the point where yeah. we're calling yeah. each other out, now yeah. we're in court, Rotan we did. can never be friends again. Rotan did. So, he can uh, still so that's do why, so. That's why the discussion was, so. after legal gymnastics, you know, I'm <laughs> sure Kizdana did. doesn't want that kind of, that, that kind did. of catch I don't of, see why not. I, and you know, see, this is not even just about Kiss Daniel. Yeah. I think it happened with the whole Brimo situation. Yeah, and I'm, I'm really irritated at the fact that Nigerian artists don't learn. Don't I, learn. I, I still talked about it recently where there was an interview that this guy was saying something about how he doesn't care if, you know, a particular, let me just, like, okay, he's like, oh, please let Don Jazzy just sign me. I don't care if they don't give me money. I don't yeah. care, isn't it? Don Desperation Jazzy pushes you into that place where you just accept anything, but and any like, when gets there, and then when you now get there, you now start to feel like, ah, ah. but yeah, now nah, I've already yeah, this made. thing. I cannot collect fifty percent. I cannot because collect twenty percent. Exactly. I, I don't want to go. That, I, that's why I stay quiet at first. I don't want to go really deep into this whole Kiss Daniel thing because I had a lawyer friend at the time who did PR for Would You for Kiss Daniel mm. who told me that she told him not to sign. Hmm. Because she read the, through the contract, contract and she's like, look, dude, this one is, chance, one this chance, is one not chance. good. But then he went ahead. So, I mean, knowing this now, I'm like, you're wrong. Go through it. I mean, if, if you're lucky enough to rise above it, I'm good. I'm a, I'm, everybody, know, everybody knows I well, love his I, I love his music. I mean, I, I'm rooting for him. However, so. however, he should just do the right thing. I mean... Do not perform their songs. If you want to have your show, I'd love to see Kiss Daniel perform Would You or Lie or any of his songs. Well, but then songs. again, if, if, you, if that's what you have to do to have a good concert without drama, perform your songs it's on the To be honest, Inc. it's a no-brainer. When it happened to Taylor Swift, who is one of the biggest country musicians, I mean, everybody was saying Taylor Swift can't perform, she can't do this. And we did, she, we met out the same it kind of... It was a back and forth. They had to set They had to settle. They have to settle. That's what I'm saying. That it's not really like I don't think it's a personal thing. People yeah. should stop remove the personal thing out of it and just Absolutely. say this is business. You signed a deal. Keep up to your end of the deal or face the consequences. Mm -hmm. So I hope Absolutely. he does. Uh, all right. Yeah. Well, that's all we can take on entertainment news.